Hi, I'm Corey with Hanwha. In my last video, I showed you how to set up the new Hanwha intercom camera so that the button will call a video phone directly. In this video, we're going to set up the same intercom with WiseNet Wave, so that when the button is pressed, it'll perform an action inside of Wave, like sending a notification to your phone. Just like before, if you're following along with me, by the end of this video, you'll have a TID600R camera hooked up to your Wave system. For this video, I'm going to assume that the TID600R is already plugged into a PoE switch on the same network that Wave's running on, and that DHCP is running on that network too. If your setup doesn't have DHCP running, I'll put a link in the corner, right here, to a video where the first five minutes will show you how to find the camera and set its IP address. The first thing I'm going to do is set the date and time and the static IP address for my camera via WiseNet Device Manager. There's a link to the download page to this software in the description. Click on the search button on the top left. This should show all of the Hanwha cameras that's discovered on your network. If you haven't set a password yet for your TID600R, it'll show need password or need PW in the status column. Otherwise, it'll say login fail. Select that line in the list, then click credential. Go ahead and set the password for the device on the page or put in the password you set before. Once it's set, there should be a green check mark next to that line in the list. Now that we're connected to the camera, we're going to set the date and time. With the camera selected in the list, there'll be a date and time button on the right side, which will bring up the time sync settings. Make sure DST enabled is checked, select your time zone from the dropdown, and for now, we're going to select synchronize with PC. When you click start, the bottom section will tell you if the settings applied successfully. Once that's done, close out of the time settings. The last thing we're going to do in WiseNet Device Manager is click on IP Assign button. It's at the top of the screen. And again, we'll have the TID600R selected. By default, this will be set to DHCP. We're going to assign our own IP address here instead. My home network is 192.168.0.star, and I've already selected an IP address that's not in use for the camera. I'll put it in the camera's permanent IP address here, 192.168.0.233, and the subnet mask should be 255.255.255.0. The gateway will be the same as the first three numbers of the IP address, but with a dot one at the end. I'll leave the default public DNS servers for now, but you can set those to whatever DNS servers you'd like. Once I hit apply, the camera will move to the new IP address. Go ahead and close out of WiseNet Device Manager and log in to your WAVE system as administrator. If automatic discovery was enabled on your WAVE system, it may already be showing up in the list on the left and just needs the camera's password to be added to the camera settings. For this video, I'm going to turn off automatic discovery and show you how to add it manually. Right click on the WAVE server in, in the list on the left and click on Add Device. In the window that comes up, put in the camera's IP address, along with the username of admin, all lowercase, and the password we set earlier. Then click on Search. If the server can communicate with the camera and the password was entered correctly, one item should be available to add to the system in the list below. Go ahead and select the camera and add it to WAVE. Next, I'm going to enable audio for the camera and turn on recording. Right-click on the camera on the left side and click on Camera Settings. Under General, click on Enable Audio and then click Apply. Under the Recording tab, enable the recording tick box at the top. Set your FPS to what you'd prefer and make sure the quality is still set to medium once you do. Click on the All button at the top left of the schedule and click Apply to enable recording 24-7. At this point, the TID600R is essentially a basic security camera with two-way audio capability. We can pull the camera into the grid and hear what's happening at the camera, and we can hold the microphone button down and speak through the camera using our computer's microphone. Same with the mobile app. But at this point, nothing is happening when someone walks up and presses the button. We need to change that, and I have two use cases in mind for us to set up. Use case number one, a business owner would like for himself and for his manager to receive mobile push notifications when a doorbell is pressed to their phones. We're going to assume both these users have WaveSync accounts on this system already. 
right click on the camera and click on the camera rules. There's a few default rules that were created when the camera was added to the system. We're going to click add at the top. On the left, this is our when this thing happens part of the rule. We want this to be when analytics event at just the TID 600R and event type should be call request. The right side is what we want the wave system to do when it detects this call request. We want it to send a mobile push notification to two users. So next to do, we're going to select send mobile notification. The interval of action is how often a push notification can be sent to you by this event rule. By default, it's set to one minute, which for a doorbell isn't the most practical. People will usually try a second time in less than a minute. So let's turn the interval of action off. And finally, the moment we've all been waiting for, selecting the users that get the push notification. Wave selects owner and administrators by default, uncheck those, and then check the business owner and the manager's accounts, then hit OK. And that's it. Press the button and they should receive a mobile push notification that they can click on and launch Wave Mobile. That brings us to the second use case, a receptionist using these intercoms to be called for buzz-in access. This assumes someone has the system up on their desk at all times. I'll be creating two rules here. First, it'll pop up with an alarm layout featuring this camera on the screen. Second, they'll receive an audio alert. Just like the last example, right click on the camera and click on camera rules. We'll add another one and set up the left side the same way. Analytics event, the TID 600R, and camera request. On the right side this time, we're gonna select show on alarm layout. Next to cameras, pick just the TID 600R again, and once again, disable the interval of action. Click on all administrators and select only the users you wish to receive the alarm notification. You'll need to click on the show all users box at the bottom to see individuals instead of just groups. Make sure the force alarm layout opening box is checked and click apply. Now Wave will open a camera in its own layout when the button is pressed, but we also want the computer and the camera to play a sound. To do this, let's add another rule. On the left-hand side, just like before, it's going to be analytics event, the TID 600R, and call request. And on the right-hand side, select play sound, then next to at, select the TID 600R. This will cause the same sound to be played out of the intercom speaker, letting the visitor know the button press worked. Again, disable the interval of action. Make sure the checkbox next to play to users is selected and change the users from all administrators to just the users operating the access control system. In the sound dropdown, select doorbell. You can customize these by clicking manage, but for this we'll stick to the built-in doorbell sound effect. Click apply and close this out. That's it. If we test this now, we'll find that the doorbell chime is played through both the intercom and the computer speakers. The person at the desk can hold the microphone button in the bottom right corner of the alarm layout and talk through the intercom using their computer microphone. You should now have the TID 600R set up in your system to push mobile notifications, open alarm layouts, and play a sound through the desktop client whenever the TID 600R button is pressed. If you have any questions or video requests, drop them in the comments section below. That's it for this video. Thanks for stopping by and I'll catch you next time. That's it. If we test it now, we'll find that the doorbell chime is played through both the intercom and the speaker computer, the computer speakers. Wow, let's try that again. You should now have the TID 600R set up in your system to push no mobile notifications. Excuse me, let's do this again. You should now have a TID 600R set up in your system to push no mobile. <laughs>